right. Hello, everybody. Good to see you all. It looks like we've got Taylor, we've got Meg, and we've got Aaron. How's everybody doing? Good. Wow. Excellent. Well, on behalf of the Illinois chapter of the American Planning Association, I would just like to say congratulations uh, on the award for the student project for the Dalton Comprehensive Plan. Um, I think that when the jury was reviewing this, uh, we were very impressed. Uh, and I think that um, unique to this one is a student project is a unique category for EPA, but in reviewing this, uh, we took a, a hard look at it from the true merits of a comprehensive plan, and the committee was very impressed with all of the hard work. Um, so I just wanted to uh, congratulate you once again, and I thought maybe we'd ask a few questions in this uh, situation. So maybe, um, Taylor, I'll start with you. I was wondering if maybe you could just give us an overview of the project. Sure. So um, this project was completed as a part of our plan making studio course. So we were a group of 20 students. Um, we were all assigned different Chicago suburbs to complete um, comprehensive plans. So our group was assigned Dalton, which is a, a community in South Suburban Cook County, um, faced with a lot of challenges. Um, it's a bit economically disinvested, this community. Um, so we kind of approached our project as a plan for the post-industrial suburb um, and we're able to find a lot of opportunities for solutions um, with that framing. And Erin can expand on some of that. Yeah, I think Dalton was really just an interesting place for us to do this plan because it's a community with such a rich history, both with the railroads and with its factories that it's boasted over the years that we kind of saw it as a bridge between Chicago and the rest of the South suburbs. And our group really just tried to leverage these unique assets that the community presented, whether it be using those railroads as something for the community or repurposing a capped landfill to something that was more environmentally sound for the region. And what we really liked about this project was that it was, we were just able to bring together this broad variety of perspectives and that allowed us to step outside the box and think of new and more imaginative solutions as we created this plan. Yeah, that's great. Um, as a fellow MUP myself, that's very exciting to hear about how kind of everybody was excited and, you know, tackling those unique challenges to this plan. Um, and that's actually one of the other things I wanted to ask about. And uh, Meg, I'm gonna start with you on this one. I was just kind of wondering, like, what were some of the, I know it's a student project, but you still tackled it in what sounds like a very comprehensive way. What are some of the challenges and, that came out of that process and maybe some of the opportunities that you were able to create as a result? Yeah, so this was obviously a massive undertaking. It was the largest group project that any of us have ever done uh, for 20 uh, graduate students to uh, coordinate. So it was really essential for us to organize ourselves in an efficient way. Uh, so we ultimately all took on roles to keep ourselves organized. Taylor was the project manager. Erin uh, led up the writing team and I was the lead on the design team. Um, and it was really important, especially as we pivoted to remote learning halfway through the semester that we had an organizational structure where we each led uh, teams of people. We had different leads for each of the five planning areas that we focused on. We had a group of leaders that were constantly in communication with each other, but it wasn't necessarily uh, hierarchical and everyone knew that their opinions were valued and a lot of our big ideas came from individual people, whether it was a a design motif like the hexagons that are uh, dispersed through our project um, or some some big ideas in uh, the environmental or economic sections of our plan. So we were really able to all come together in like a truly uh, comprehensive collective way. I think the week before the plan was due was one of the busiest weeks of my entire life. Yeah, yeah, I had to keep reminding myself that I wasn't being paid to do this and that it was just going to be a grade um, because the, the week before we'd hop on a Zoom call and we'd just edit for, <laughs> for hours. Yeah. yeah, I think there was one time where Meg and I were on FaceTime for like four or five hours just going through the plan being like, ah, we need to shift this word to the next line. Like, right. <laughs> 
Those together. working meetings are huge too. It's like, yeah. I, I, I know that I could edit in a vacuum without someone here, but just bouncing ideas off of someone, I think there's something still very powerful about that. Very impressive. Um, and the fact that you had to pivot halfway through to this virtual, um, those of us in the planning profession, I, I still find it challenging. So that's very impressive that as a, as a group in this capacity, you were able to pivot so quickly to that. And it sounds like the division of labor and the assignment of roles um, that's almost kind of a perfect lead in because I was going to say, you know, as far as students at UIC, um, it sounds like you're already thinking about this in, in a true sense. So I would say welcome to the profession as planners. Um, you know, as you kind of, I think you mentioned when uh, we were emailing back and forth, you know, you're about to enter your final year at UIC. Um, but, you know, having gone through this experience and producing this plan, like, what are some of the takeaways that you got from this process as you go into that final year? Yeah, I think just the experience of, of working with such a large group has really instilled trust in those classmates. Um, as I continue to have classes in my final year with um, some of my teammates from this comprehensive plan, it's really helped to kind of know that they can step up and I just trust them so much and it's inspired, um, I think, a spirit of collaboration that will have to carry over beyond school into the profession. Yeah, I think what I really took from this project was just the adaptability. Uh, you mentioned that we had to shift mid semester from planning in person to planning virtually. And I mean, I think that's a great introduction to the planning field where I'm sure things don't always go exactly to plan. And I'm excited to take this forward as we just start on this semester that is also uncharted waters. And as we finish our last year, I just, I'm excited to see the flexibility that my classmates are all really bringing to the table. Well, I am, uh, again, once again, congratulations. I think that this is a great example of that. I think that the student project is a great entree, entree into uh, the work that all of you have done and hats off to the rest of your teammates and to your professor and everybody involved in helping to make this happen. And again, congratulations from APA Illinois. Uh, we certainly look forward to what uh, happens next with all of you. So uh, congratulations, enjoy the rest of your weekend, and uh, we look forward to hoping to see you again soon. Thank you so much. Thank you. Take care, all of you.